Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create some titles uh, that are inspired by the trailer titles that are seen inside of the more recent Star Wars movie trailers. Uh, this is an example from Star Wars The Force Awakens uh, with the 3D rotating text that just kind of moves to the side and back in 3D space. This is quite simple to do inside of HitFilm. Uh, I am using HitFilm Pro However, this can be done inside of HitFilm Express with the Geometry add-on pack, the one that comes with Bend, Bevel, Extrude, and Rotate for text geometries. So, this is what we'll be creating today. So, let's get on with this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is create a new composite shot. And I'm just going to name this Trailer Titles. You can name this whatever you want. You also want to set the duration... Uh, to 2 seconds and 3 frames, which is the same length as the title is in the actual trailer. So then I'm just going to hit OK. And this will create a plain composite shot that we can now start to create our text in. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is create a new text layer. On this text layer, I'm going to write this Christmas. You then want to select it then go over to the text tab and you want to locate this font here and then I set the size to 136 and I set the the character spacing to being 1% and this just spaces out the letters ever so slightly then the next thing that I'm going to do is turn this layer into a 3D plane so I'm going to select the layer dimensions and select 3D plane it will ask me if I want to add a camera so I'm just gonna hit yes Okay, so this has now created the 3D camera as well as the text in 3D, so you can move it backwards and forwards in Z space. But what I'm going to do from here is now create the extrusion and the rotating. So uh, in the effects tab, I'm just going to search for extrude. And the extrude text only is the effect I want to drag on, so I'm just going to drag and drop this onto the text. And this will do far too much extruding. So now I'm going to go over to the controls tab open the extrusion settings under depth I'm going to change it from 50 over to being 6 and then instead of it saying front and back for the face I'm going to change this just to being back and this has now created a very subtle extrusion however it will be more noticeable when we've got the rotating text because basically what this does is it stops the text from just being flat then next to geometry I'm just going to press this green plus and the effect the geometry I'm going to drag in, well, click on, is rotate. So once I've selected that, it will add it to the geometry section to the controls. Now if I just scroll this down, you can see that we have X, Y, and Z controls for the rotation. And as you can see, the Y rotation is moving each individual character round on the Y axis, rather than just taking the entire text plane, the text layer, round, which would be what would happen if you use the transform settings. Now what we need to do is keyframe this to go from 90 degrees over to 0 degrees. At the start of the timeline, I'm going to activate keyframing for Y rotation by clicking on the circle there, and then it goes blue. And then I'm also going to set this to being 90. And now that has made the text at a right angle to the camera. Then I'm going to move ahead to the end of the timeline and set the Y rotation from 90 to 0. And now we've got this kind of nice rotating text going on here. Now I'm going to add some more motion to this by animating the move in Z space. So I'm going to select this layer, go over to the transform settings in the controls tab, then I, under position I'm going to start keyframing on frame 1. I am just going to be moving this down on the Y axis because I feel like it's a bit too high up and I want it to be more centered in the frame. So I'm just going to move this down. So negative 40 works quite well. Then I'm going to move towards the end of the timeline and then change the Z position over to being negative 150. And this will be moving it backwards in Z space. Okay, so I'm going to go to the first frame of the timeline and then I'm going to start keyframing on opacity. And I'm going to set its opacity down to being zero. Then I'm going to advance by four frames so I'm on frame number 4. You can either type that in here, use the next frame controls in the viewer, or you can press the 
greater than or less than symbols on your keyboard, and now I'm going to set the opacity up to being 100. And now you have a nice subtle fade in that's at the start and almost eases the animation in. Now this does look okay, however it doesn't quite look 3D because it looks very flat and one colour. So what we're going to do from here is create two new lights, but we're going to go through them one by one. So I'm going to go over to new layer, then select light, and now we've created a 3D light. And it, instantly you can see that it's already doing more to try and make this seem like it's 3D because it's casting shadows and creating highlights. I am going to move this forward in Z space so that it's lighting up more of the characters and I'm going to try and get a bit more flat on this side. But I am then going to move the light across on the X axis. Kind of up here in the top corner. And this is our main light that's going to be casting some fill on this entire scene. I'm then going to go into the light settings and I'm just going to turn down the intensity to something around 85 and then we'll just slightly darken it, just creating a slightly more subtle light. Then what I'm going to do is activate fall off for this layer. And then I'm going to increase the reach until it does reach more of the letters. It's just I want it to be darker, so I'm going to leave the T mostly in black. Now I'm going to duplicate this, so right click, duplicate, or you can press Ctrl D. I'm going to select the red handle in the viewer to move it along on the X axis and move it over to this corner over here. I am just going to then open up the light setting, tint this light ever so slightly green. You can do it however much or as however little as you like. And then I'm just going to turn down the intensity slightly more to around 60. And now we've got this really awesome looking trailer text based on the Star Wars movie trailers. And the final thing that I'm going to do to this effect and text layer that we've created is create a new plane. I want to set this to being black. I'm just going to name this background and then I'm going to press OK. I'm then just going to drag this down to the bottom of the layer stack and now we've got a plain black plane. If you enjoyed then please leave a like and subscribe as that would be greatly appreciated. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials then please leave them down in the comments. If you have any questions also please feel free to ask them uh, once again down in the comments below and if you want to follow me uh, on Instagram it's at ndpproductions underscore workshop. Happy Star Wars week and goodbye.